Grade 11 student. So in today's video, we are going to continue uh, with our cost accounting or manufacturing. So in today's video, we are going to do what we call a raw material account, which is also uh, known as direct material. So direct material and raw material, guys, is one and the same thing. Okay, and after that, we are going to calculate direct labor, then we go to factory overhead cost. So please make sure that you watch until the end so that you're going to gain some of the things that you didn't know uh, under this cost accounting. This is very simple and straightforward chapter. Okay, uh, without wasting any other time, uh, let's look at the question paper that we have. Okay, it's a ledger account and the cost calculation. Okay, they said wishy wishy manufacture the business produce washing machines and sell at a markup of 70% on cost. You know how to calculate a markup. They use a perpetual inventory system uh, for finished goods and the periodic inventory system for raw material and the indirect material. Okay, required. Prepare the raw material stock account this is the one number two provide the workings of direct labor and after that perfect overhead cost 13 marks okay now let's start with the information number a they say the following balances appear among others in the books of wishy wishy manufacture they give us opening balances which is 1 march 2018 and closing balances of 28 february 2019 all right if you check Number one, we have a raw material, uh, which is the same account that we are preparing. Number two, we have work in progress, finished goods and factory indirect material stock. Now let's focus on this one. Okay, guys, every time uh, when you are dealing with manufacturing account, just know that opening balance are on the debit side. Closing balance are on the credit side. And make sure that you know this format because this format does not change. Okay, in other words, this is the opening balance, this is the closing balance. Creditors control is when we purchase a raw material on credit. Bank is when we bought cash, when we bought raw material or direct material cash. And the last bank is for transport that we paid to deliver those materials. Very simple and straightforward. And work in progress is the balancing figure after we have calculated everything. That's what we are going to do for this free 80 marks. Okay, now let's start with the opening and clo closing because they are given. Opening is 95,000 and closing is 110,500. Okay, now let's proceed. Uh, the other balances are for other account. Transaction number B. The raw material purchase on credit, which is 521. Raw material purchased on credit of 521. We bought on credit, which means that the words creditors control is going to be used here, which is 521,000. Okay. And the cost of transporting raw material to the factory amounted to 29,500. A transport cost is belonging here, uh, which is 29,500. Okay, and from there, they said indirect material bought for cash. Indirect material is not this one. This one is a direct. It's not indirect. Indirect belong here. Okay, so uh, the number four, Wages paid, number five, salaries, commission, maintenance, water and electricity, rent and depreciation. The rest does not belong here, which means that we didn't have any material board cash. Now we can calculate here and get the total. So the total this side will be 645,500. Okay, which means that it's going to be the same as this side. 645 minus 110 is going to give you 
thousand, then you are done with this uh, account. That's eight marks for free. No heavy work is needed here. You just do a simple step, then you are done. Okay. Moving to the next one. The next one we are going to calculate uh, direct labor. Uh, transaction number four. Wages paid to workers amounted to three hundred thousand and eight hundred, and they say the amount include the employees uh, employers contribution in respect of pension fund of twenty eight. They say that amount of 300,000 has included 28,000 of pension fund. Now they want to test you whether you know that that amount must be included or not. Okay. Here is the final answer. So what you need to know is that a salary for direct labor it must include this pension fund which means that the total that they give us of 300,000 is a total and we, there is nothing that we need to do it to subtract okay now let's go back here and show that yes this amount of 28,000 must be added but from amount which is less than this one it has been added from amount of uh, if you take this one minus this one uh, you will get amount of 272,800. Yes, it total must include that amount. It must not exclude. It must include. When we record a direct labor cost, we must include a pension fund. If they are given separate, add them together. This is the salary. This is a pension. That's why we add them together and we get this one. Okay. Then the next one. Now we are going to factory overhead cost, which is also known as indirect cost. All indirect cost that are not directly involved in the production. These are directly involved in the production and these are also directly involved. These one are indirectly involved. We need to uh, calculate them now. Okay, number one, we have indirect material which we have to do a workings because we have an opening balance which we add closing balance we subtract what was purchased during the year we add opening balance is 20,500 let's check what we bought number three indirect material bought for cash 77,500 and we subtract what we didn't use this year which is the closing balance of 18,000 Okay, uh, it's gonna give us 80,000. Okay, the next one uh, a salary paid for factory foreman is 105,000. So, even this one, if you are given a, what we call a pension fund, you must add it as well. So, here it was just given as 105,000. We just record it like that. And maintenance, uh, number seven, maintenance of factory equipment paid 37,000 and further 11,000 is still owed. What do we do if the other amount is still owed? We do the same principle of income statement. If it's not yet recorded, we must add. If they record for next year, we must subtract. Okay. Then maintenance, uh, we are going to say 37,000 and the one which was still old of 11,000. Okay, we're gonna get 48,000 just like that. Okay, and the next one they said water and electricity paid for 21,000 and amount split between the factory and the office. Remember, here we only calculate what belongs to factory. Any other thing that, that does not belong to factory, we don't include. Okay. Water and electricity. They say that it's 21,000. But on this 21,000, only factory uh, allocated 4 over 1 is to 1. 
uh, with the office which means that the first one must match with the first one they start with factory and the number is four which is the first one and the second one they say office and the second number uh, is one which is related to office okay respectively okay which means that in this case we know that what we are looking for is four but out of what out of total when we add those ratio together if there are three you must add all three of them so four plus one is five then it's gonna give us a amount of sixteen thousand eight hundred sixteen thousand eight hundred okay moving to the next one uh, the next one they say the rent paid amount 108 and the factory is responsible for paying 80 percent of the rent so 80 percent of the rent is the is, is what we are looking for because the rest office and selling and distribution we don't include them here 108,000 multiplied by 80 percent okay then it's gonna give us 86,400 and the last one they say depreciation on factory equipment amounted to 60,000 60,500 for factory we, we include it because they said it's for it's for factory i hope you learn